that. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Tuesday again. And uh, we are back yet again, once more and again. Uh, we got Mr. Dave Throckmorton on the drums. Yes, indeed. And Mr. Cliff Barnes on that there organ. Yes, indeed. We're DTC Organ Trio. Thank you for joining us once more and again. Uh, thank you for all. Thank you to all our our sponsors and cross posting partners. Uh, none other than Pittsburgh International Jazz Festival, August Wilson, African American Cultural Center, Citizens Bank. Thank you to Arts Now. Thank you to Downtown Action Partnership. Thank you to the Jazz Crews, Jazz Times, the Jewel, Omaha. Thank you to Live at AV Club, Phil Brent. Mike, where you at? There they go. Back there. Um, thank you to the Bop Stop at the Music Settlement. Uh, thank you to Con Alma, uh, Blue Jay Jazz Foundation, uh, Jazz Corner, uh, Akron Civic Theater, uh, Rubber City Jazz and Blues Festival. I can't believe I remembered all those. Man, I know I'm leaving somebody else. Mac Avenue Records and Tusco TV. Thank you, Thrott. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. See, see, that's that's why we're a group. When when one falls short, <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, God bless the child uh, and God bless Billy Holiday, wheresoever she may be this evening. Billy, where you at? Billy, where you at? Uh, <laughs> and we're gonna shift gears here. We're gonna uh, <laughs> we're gonna go to Roberta Flack. Uh, this is feel like making love.
<laughs> hey man, we gotta make it funky. I like that James Brown record. Um, Whatsoever you do. Yeah, that's it. That's it. The Bobby Bird starts off. He's like, "What you gonna play now, Bobby? I don't know, but what's and ever I play." He said, "What's and ever? What's and ever? What's and ever I play? It's got to be funky." That's it. That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's what. <laughs> Got to coordinate. coordinate. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, uh, that's Roberta Flack. Feel Like Making Love, of course, influenced by, by the great D'Angelo record, uh, Voodoo. That's a bad record right there, buddy. That's a bad fella right there. Listen to you. Why don't we shift on over to uh, the book of Mr. Ornette Coleman. See, as, as you can tell, Maybe over the past two months or so, we are uh, what I like to call musical omnivores. So we just, uh, you know, we, we like to switch. We like to switch genres. You know, we just we dig. I'm I'm sort of like a traditionalist in some ways, but you know, I I can't just do one thing all the time. You know, so it's just like that. I think it reflects kind of our experience. You know, loving jazz and you know, I I love bebop, but I also had experience playing those kind of hole in the wall clubs where yeah, you got to make it funky, you know. Mashed potatoes is good, but you can't eat it every day, baby. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add that to the list of Cliff quotes. That's I mean that's just like that's perfect. Uh, <laughs> so this is when will the blues leave? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, see. <laughs>
Yeah. Or net. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, all the phrasing, all the way across the drums, right? man. Crazy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, indeed. When will the blues leave? Never. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, oh, well, Throck makes some uh, technical adjustments. Then uh, I'm going to take this time to let you know that uh, if you enjoyed last week's uh, edition of Sideman Stories uh, with Jeff Tane Watts, that's a bad man. So much rhythm, so much music, and so, so much experience. Um, it's tomorrow. In the house. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's a he's a Pittsburgher. I don't hold that against him, but uh, <laughs> no, nah, we no. Truthfully, we feel like, uh, especially in Akron on the music scene, we feel like Pittsburgh is kind of like our our sister city. We have a lot of cross pollination with uh, uh, Pittsburgh musicians. Some you know form some great relationships uh, in that city. I know you have Cliff. Mm -hmm. They love Cliff out there. Uh, I think what Dan's trying to say is that Pittsburgh has accepted some of the Akron musicians. Uh, I'm joking. Well, That's not fair. Uh, <laughs> I'm just playing. Nah, we, nah. we love these cats. We love it out here, man. Yeah, man. Not that I, I can speak for all of Pittsburgh, but uh, <laughs> speaking for some of Pittsburgh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I love Pittsburgh. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, man, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, right. Music. Oh, yeah. Sideman Stories. Jeff Tane Watts, where you at? Jeff Tane Watts, where you at? Uh, tomorrow we got the great lady of song, uh, Renee Marie. Had the, the pleasure of, of working with her for, uh, I'm relatively new in her group, but man, she she is my, one, the, my, my probably my favorite singer I've ever worked with. Wow. She's, she's incredible, man. I mean, just, and she has a, she has a real, a real captivating story. To how she got into the music, so I, I wouldn't miss that if I were you. Now we're gonna get back to the music here. We're gonna play some more for you. Oh, actually, let's go. Let's go to to Monk. Yeah. Let's go to Monk. This is a uh, a tune he wrote for the engineer. Uh, producer. Okay. Pro yeah, it's a producer. Yeah, Tio Macero. Uh, and it's like whenever I uh, I hear this tune, I think of like 1940s, like you know, like they're in like a, a packed club because this is the way it swings, you know. It's bad, man. This is called Tio.
Monk, where you at? Hey, what a bad dude, man. Uh, yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> man, I, I was watching a thing with, uh, with with Monk and I think it was might have been Rudy Van Gelder, one of the like classic classic producers. And man, just the way Monk was talking to this cat was just crazy, man. <laughs> Like he, he was like, uh, he was like, Monk, did you, uh, are you, are you guys rehearsing? Or, or you, because Monk, Monk was, uh, his, he was playing with his group. He was like, did you get that? He was like, no, I didn't know you guys were, were going. How come nobody listened to what I'm talking? I was like, whoa, man. And Monk was like a super tall guy. So like, you know, I wouldn't want to be talking back to him. <laughs> but like, it, it's just, it's great to watch all those old, those old videos and how like, kind of eccentric he was mm -hmm. and it just just i i just feed into the whole thing he's just, he was just a genius man yeah, oh, yeah. you know he's a bad dude anytime you can be in the middle of a solo and get up and walk away from the piano right <laughs> and get, he and had the a, rest of the band just keep playing and don't even look at national that's players. like normal that's, yeah, yeah that's normal that's yeah that's when you know oh yeah okay this is part of the song right yeah. right <laughs> he wrote that space in there right <laughs> A A B A walk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. So how about we take it to? I got an idea. Mm.
Polka dots and moonbeams. Love that. I love that bridge. That's like one of the first standards that I learned, like I learned the lyrics to, and like, like I I, I tell my students all the time, like I never would have known, you know, more than half of these harmonic devices were were possible if I hadn't learned them in a tune. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, like the the bridge just goes, you know, it goes to another key. And like, you know, when I was growing up, I was like, man, that's just such a foreign thing. Cause all the tunes I was used to were. You know, but I was like, man, it, it goes to. Uh, but then the way it goes back. It's like, wow, man, you really learned song structure and, you know, how to get from place to place, man. It's, it's, so that that's that's how I teach. Speaking of. Uh, Yes, indeed. That brings us to to our our segment of of the concert that I've uh, I've dubbed our church announcements, church announcements. and I, I have our organist, Mr. Clifford Barnes, uh, put me in the key of, of C, sharp, C sharp, the people's key. Uh, <laughs> you know, if you look in the description of the of the comments, uh, the description of the video, pardon me, uh, you will find various links and information and uh, segues, if you will, uh, to lessons and classes, various educational items, uh, as well as instead of a virtual tip jar, we have indeed dubbed it the digital collection plate. And when you when you donate uh, to the musicians, I believe you donate to a noble cause. And when you give out of the goodness of your heart, out of the depths of your soul, out of the kindness of your spirit, I believe the blessing will be returned to you indeed, as we say here, tenfold. Um, so if you go in that uh, video description, and you give cheerfully, I believe the blessing will be returned to you. And as we say here, God bless your hearts and all your parts. On that, <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this li live on the internet. This is this is like lives forever now. <laughs> it's terrible, man. <laughs> uh, how about we play that uh, nothing personal? Yeah, Don Gromick. Don Gromick wrote this? Yeah. That's right, that's right. This is uh this is Don Gromick's Nothing Personal. This is on Brecker's first album. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, just like wow. I I'd love to just knock it out of the park my first album like that. That's just that's an unbe unbelievable record. record yeah. Don, where you at? Yeah. Mike, where you at? Uh you got it, man.
Nothing personal. Brother Grolnick. Yeah. Don't take my hair, bro. <laughs> oh, no, love that tune. Once again, we'd like to thank y'all for joining us. One more again for Mr. Dave Throckmorton on the drums. Yeah. And Mr. Clifford Barnes on the organ. Boots and hooks. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming out uh, digitally. And make sure you check out Sideman Stories tomorrow with Renee Marie. It's going to be a good one. We'll see you later. Peace. Peace. Dan Fretboard Wilson.